So for my black and white project today, I decided to dig into my craft archives. And, and I Is actually... Is there such a thing as I know. Tiffany's craft <laughs> archive? Huh. Let's well, think about this for a minute. It's only an archive because <laughs> mm -hmm. I shared this on my blog that I created this when we had the challenge for Eileen Hall's butterfly dyes. Oh yeah. And so I put them all together so that they didn't really look like butterflies. But I never did anything but just frame this, so I pulled it out of the frame, and now I'm gonna show you other ways that you can use your scrapbook pages. Would that be upcycling? I think so. For my candle sleeves, I am using the Aline's Tacky Dot Singles, and I am using the Aline's Super Thick Tacky Glue. This is the size that you will find in the Aline's Tacky Pack. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to select your scrapbook paper. Since our theme today is black and white, I found some fun patterns. I really quickly wanted to let you know the inspiration for this project. I participated several months ago in a blog hop for Eileen Hall's dies from Sizzix and each of the designers were sent different dies and I received her butterfly die. I actually forgot the deadline and so at the very last minute I needed to come up with an idea so I cut my butterflies out and I glued them onto a piece of scrapbook paper in a pattern so at first glance you may not realize that these are butterflies and they make a really intriguing pattern. So when I came up with the idea for my segment today, this is the piece of paper that I pulled out because I knew it was black and white. And um, I'm going to use it for one of my candle covers, but first of all, I wanna show you how to make just a basic cover. So this is the inspiration for the black and white candle sleeve. The bases come in all different sizes. So this is a candle vase or base that I found at my local craft store and you could use smaller votives you could actually use candles that are in glass so this might be pre-poured as a candle that you could put a sleeve on you can also use the seven day candles and uh, these you can find at many different places these are the the really tall candles so you would just lay this over your scrapbook paper to decide exactly where you need to cut it. So I can tell that I want to cut just at the bottom of this line of dots. You can use your paper cutter to cut this apart or you can use your scissors. A paper cutter gives you a nice straight line. When you're following a pattern like this pretty easy to cut with your scissors. You know, I love black and white, but I definitely like color <laughs> and other patterns. So I picked a scrapbook paper that is picking up on some other flower colors for me. But I need to stay within our theme. The next step is to just double check to see how far that's going to overlap. That gives you a nice firm seam. And I am, for the seam, just using my Aline's Tacky Dot Singles. And because this is a heavier weight scrapbook paper, it's a cardstock, I am going to place these pretty close together. The nice thing about these is that they will hold instantly and also, because that liner is clear, you can see right through to exactly where you are placing your tacky dot singles. So, a lot of times when I'm teaching with these, my students don't always understand that there's actually two layers of this clear liner. So I just push like this to pop them. I found that easier than than trying to separate them this way. So you just push the top and that dot's going to stick to one half. And you can just press it right down in place.
Okay. So now we are ready to wrap this paper right around. Line it up and press those dots in place. So this looks great just on its own. Pretty on the inside, pretty on the outside. But if you want to embellish this a little bit more, I found these cute little clear acrylic pebbles. And so I thought it'd be cool to just glue them in place on these dots. And I'm using my Aline's Super Thick Tacky Glue. And just put a little dot. Don't over glue. You don't need a lot of glue to hold these in place. And if you apply your glue like this and then let it set for a couple of minutes, it's even tackier. And remember, it starts out white, but it does dry clear. So, not to worry. My biggest suggestion is just don't over glue. Just use a little dab. So cover all of these dots. With your clear acrylic to cover your entire candle cover. I like to make these up in advance because it's great to have a gift ready for a special occasion, a special friend. And you can see very subtly, I love the um, extra dimension and, and texture that that adds to the scrapbook paper. So that is how easy it is to create your cover. Now, what I do, too, is when I'm crafting and want to do several of these, this actually can slip right off. So just carefully pull. And then you can go and work right on your next cover. <laughs> Got to give it a good tug. There we go. So, you know me, I can't just work in black and white. So, I did craft a cover with lots of color. And you just pull this back on in place. And I have many different variations. So, have fun personalizing. You can use your little stick on monograms, you can come up with your own design as to how you might want to personalize these for your special friends. For the butterfly paper that I showed you just a few moments ago, I am going to actually wrap this around a seven day candle and glue my seam and then decide how I want to decorate and embellish this. So. It's a lot of fun to use scrapbook pages that you have perhaps decorated but not used and put them on to your candles to create some super cool candle covers. <laughs>